Pontefract, but still is still used. But you're looking at the of out of all three, this is about the only building standing on or out of all three stations of the stations. Get through here. This here door, the shutter sign. We have used to have a driving, what used to be the DVLA. It's moved somewhere else now, what can I cart? As you can see, the other stations it is. I'll give you a bit of a quick tour on this one. was open around about in the 1840s around about that, that era as you can I think by the looks of it, it might get me slightly done up minus the freight trains there's about three two to three trains to York about th two to three trains to Sheffield on a Sunday there used to be local buildings over there on that platform too it got knocked down years ago where the other side of the fence used to be like a local siding like a good siding and all that or passenger train going in there There used to be like an awning tap so we can pick up the post so we can put a strap underneath. There's a local subway here what goes onto the platform so I'll give you a bit I'll take you over the other side of the bit. Well, you get more freight trains it, as you can make out at the moment, it's quiet. We'll get on to see, see train special coming through, but it's depending on the time of the day. is part of the subway you can just see it under the, where the trains are coming up underneath, underneath the trains there's a sign back here along here on this side there used to be a train come in this would terminate here on this side so back up here facing on your way to York. Uh, one of the stops is Church Fenton. There's a couple of the other trains. Most stage station stops on your way to York. And that bridge you can just make out in the distance. There's a road bridge. Bag Hill, it's um, not try to zoom in. and then boys up up that way. So you're looking about from here, up up there, it's Bag Hill. It's um, I'll take you around this way and go on. can just mark out a uh, couple of st story flat. I can't remember how many flats there is, how many stories with that. These shops underneath, um, but apart from with that big, the biggest one with like a white and yellow 
Fuck most of the cod. As you can tell the difference between the lights now, you look it would have been all gas powered along here. Lights. So you would have had station staff. These some old old photos kicking about and uh, some of them put them on Facebook and all that on the station. So I think there's some railway books you might use. And for, 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 for Ponty area. Maybe an odd book West Yorkshire Railway so you can have a look at them if you can. Now here we go, on the day. Throw this away. It's quite nice for the disabled because you turn right, which is that way, that way, to come out if you've got something in the wheelchair. It's a bit awkward with this step on your left. There's a bit that the one that grew on this side and platform one, you can just make out where the light's shining from. Does flood a little bit here, depending how bad the weather is. And that's of the other grill you could just make out. Sorry about this shining of the sun light. But yeah, as you can see it's see it's raining as well. A miserable day. You're looking about nineteen forty other nineteen Somewhere in the 1940s, before uh, in 1840, somewhere in the 1840s when it opened, there used to be a little bit more trains than it is today. Along here, the tower that look would you might make out a tower there. Was it tra There's a that's a lot like a uh, try to zoom into it. I'm not I'm not sure hundred percent sure what tower that that's for. Part of the railway now is to say the track's clear. A bit like the green light, but it's like if it's a train coming in, they don't see the green light straight off. And that's that as that as it oh, up, you might make it like it is to say the track's clear. But when it's straight, when it's that there's when it's sort of facing horizontal. train up ahead in the next section which is part of the road which is a bit of an odd situation <laughs> as you can make out here from the centre of the tracks it's like a magnet underneath the train and I'll show you the light up there in a bit if you ever hear like a like a pinging noise, or f like several noises from coming from the cab. It's to say when the, like to say with what what colour the signal is. If it's like on a fucking dead but that when they're really bad fog. As you can see the sign here. No crossing. But well, some there's some people ignore that sign and just cross the track anyway. So that up here. That platform one is what they call the downline because you're going up to York, which is a bit daft thing. 
calling it a downline when you're going up because what the meaning is when they say downline and an upline is you're going the upline is like what well, I'm roughly standing on now is going down to London so if you if you're in that like, this is from West Yorkshire going down to London so you are going down but you're not upline the downline for here is you, you're going up to York Scotland way on so you're like, you're like looking at that like it very, I know it varies where you are in the in the United Kingdom Scotland and Wales might, and Ireland might be slightly different where they're up lines and down lines but it's just one of those things because the reason why they say London key to pass the railway up on here to, for that line tracks you have to sort of send it all down to London for that one about hundred, over a hundred years ago to say oh I want to build a railway you got to get send it all uh, like a one of like planning permission apart from through your council and all that to do the railway it takes it could take a year or two so we walk down on platform one at uh, platform two so then you can see new houses they've been up I'll probably say 10 12 years I say about 12 years give or take here you see be like a waiting room here you used to go a bit further back before the fences come up I think there used to be a signal box around here, but I'm not quite sure whereabouts it is yet. That's the only problem with the signal boxes, they make them update things and shove them somewhere else. Right. We've got a green light on to say track's clear. That, like I said, that big, that yellow thingy, if I can just, it's a little bit hard to make out. When it goes ping, pong, and it makes three or four noises, it's that, uh, some of it's had to do with, you might make the three noises for the signal, but there's a fourth one, so is it like, what they call the dead man's peggle in a cab, so that, to make sure they're awake, so they've got to depress that for that four seconds yeah. as you can see here and that used to be like sidings and all that in here you know you got all mail and that and goods and all that you might make this grey th that trough fucking thing out it's for the wiring as you can see how big this the platform 2 is I'm not going to be on this because you can see the li uh, light posts for the lights for the platform lights. Get a bit further in. Uh, just say, just before this signal on the platform, you like it. Yeah, I don't know if you can make it out. Like a grey box on a post. That is a phone. So when it's like when the, if the signals, so it's like if you've been stood there for about two or three minutes, of the train, for some reason, they can use what's in the, the uh, train. I'll go down to the phone there, to phone the signalman up. I will say a signal person, because you never know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, if you want to be politically correct, to say uh, what's wrong. And if, if it's like that red and, it, and, it, and it's like, oh, this signal's broken, the signalman has got to give you permission to go. All right, time they can jump the red light if the signalman gives them permission to go down the line. That's only time you can go through a red light if the signalman gives you permission. The trainee car driver there. Yeah, 
like I said, these, this is one of three stations in Ponty. But if you want to come, if you are going to come by train here, uh, I'd probably say best safe bet is to check your times and which station you need to be at to come this way in both directions. I'd probably say avoid Sunday because it's a different, slightly different time setup as far as I can understand. So you're looking about half. I'll probably say about half nine-ish if you're going to York, if you're coming from this station to York, probably about 11-ish, sometime, give or take 11 o'clock going to Sheffield. We don't have bit all the stations where you see it on on the every station. You might see something like this. A plastic bag for the simple reason I know it might sound like if they had normal black bins what you see on the streets it's more like a terrace if so if like whoever's coming on here cleaners or not that they can see what's in the bag because at the moment slightly on the modern days now where you've got terrace it saves them shoving them in the bins and you can't see it you've got clear bags so that's one of the reasons why they've got clear bags so they can see if there's any suspicious items in it I think this well I come back at this the station building it's sand has been bought by somebody but at the moment don't fully quote me on it because it's on that Facebook you get all sorts of questionable things but well, if, I, if I do if I do find out I might leave it in the, if, in the comments below I could, I'll go back down in the subway again well as you can see the lights just come on on this side Yeah, it is a little bit hard. Oh, oh, let me come back up here, Matt. Over that, beyond the trees, it's, I know it's really difficult to see. You might make out a bit of the a Ponty, Ponty Castle, Ponty Frat Castle. You're looking about the. I think it's been built from somewhere in the 11th or the 12th hundreds somewhere around that year when it was built and completed it went through the kings of po royal family and it, in the silver war it would get targeted by, by in the silver war by Cromwells so that that yeah I would say that is a bit of a worth I'll visit if you're into that type of history uh, that's one of the places I would recommend as well if you want to pass a bit of time I'll go back under here yeah like I said there's some photos somewhere there being some books if you want to put I say if you put West Yorkshire or Pontefract down area there might be some pictures of that where this station with some trains from like that there may be in steam days as well, but there will be some old, oldish pictures from like the 1950s, somewhere like that. Now this gate here, you can see, is more for the track workers when they're coming in their vans. So you've got one gate there grey boxes that you can see like that uh, here as you get your some of them is like for the platform for the lights and you get other ones what you see like bang on the side of the track side give it a give a take where you are if I go down to the bottom platform on this platform one 
Yeah, like I said, this is what we had called it, it had what was DVLA in there. So if you was taking your driving test, this is where you what come to to do your driving test. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'll try and find out why Cause they might have moved for some reason. I know it did. I know it uh, under the two th two 2020, like everybody else, where else it bubbled them up. And all that losing people wanted to drive past the test and all that. It was a bit stuck. The, the station building is near the far all the stations had uh, a station master living on site. Uh, and the, for this size station, you would have had about half a dozen, a dozen people working for it under under him. That that what well, they call ticket inspectors, former staff. Repairs need to be done. It would have had repairs to be put through, depending on how bad it were. <laughs> oh, they always get. I'm trying to get up to that. As you can see, no. I probably suggest not if you're going if you are going to cross any li railway lines, go to the nearest crossing. Or the, like I've done, use the nearest subway, so you know, you might make, what do you mean, you can make out them grey boxes outside of the signal. It's all to do with the light, light uh, like the lights, and these couple of circuits as well, like when you're going along the tracks with the train, it makes a, it completes a circuit, and it lets the signal per person at the, which is which you uh, the nearest signal box now would be like York, just outside York Station. So it's just like telling them that this specific train's in this section on on the upline, and they will have the same going up on the downline. If you wonder what them bull things in the centre, it's just like a bit like the uh, drainage system. It's got water in it, but. I don't know how many miles. There's one in the centre here. With there's that three in the centre. It's just like what pipe to it, like it weather's today raining. A miserable day. But they're on about snow. Some they may get some snow tomorrow. So this is actually Wednesday the 30th. So if you want to want the date is. Not going fully all the way over, so you can add that with water. The white bitch is numbers. You can make out. They maybe do this. Might do some engineering. standing behind me. So I think they had something to do with electrics and all that for the lights or something like that. I'm not 100% sure but I, can, I might like try and find out. If somebody can find out, leave it in the comments. as well so it tells you to come down yeah. you're getting the cool noises board as well on, on some of the stations like here that leads to Doncaster which is this is a Dern Valley line this other from here, but from Sheffield up to, I'll probably say up to Church Fenton, which is this is a Dern Valley line. 
Uh, that would be on the Wakefield, like what they call the Wakefield line. So you're going up, up to Wake, through Wakefield Westgate. So you've got Sheffield to Doncaster and Goulburn Hall. So that's in like fact this month. So you just it. <laughs> so you get them up. It is a bit shame they have to put these shutters on, but you get some young people, sometimes they are as well, or jump. This is a community where you, if you get a bit stuck, if you say you've, you don't want to use your phone, push that for the emergency or information, that one. This is, I think they start plugging into that phone, so you've got all sorts of communication devices for in there. That's sort of new with this. With a typical grip bin. There's a company what comes down here, uh, what cleans the platforms, gives them a side but you know when it's going to rain, they start using that. So like, so they oh, they could going to snow at a certain time. If it says it's going to rain, they come out and grit, which is weird. As you can make out, windows used to be there. Yeah. You can make out there. You can make out where the on the awning, the cover bit were. So you're looking looking back along the top as well. As you can make out at the end of this platform, where they like a window, have a window, a door there, a door there, and you know there's a door door there. As you can make out, I think there used to be toilet. There would have been some toilets on here when you're wait, waiting for your train. Got the, the, what used to be Dory, yeah. I'm not 100% really sure what this work like by look at it, it might be something to hang that the old fire buckets on, no, it was sand and all that. I think that's what that might have been. Or something that was hanging here. I think when you look at it with this bit here, you would have a, a one, maybe two blocks here collecting your ticket. And when you come in, you, I'm guessing somewhere over that time, you usually buy your tickets before you come in. And then it would be like somebody come, a vlog or somebody uh, would click, take you, to ask you for your ticket. You, ask for, you say where you're going as normal. It used to be like the cool cardboard, say about inch long, about an inch and a half long, maybe an inch width. Uh, and you, just, you give it to the eclipse, it, like, uh, uh, you go to your train, and whoever's coming off the train comes here, you got uh, giving you a ticket so you're surrendering your ticket to say you've travelled and you paid. Back in the days it sort of helped us stop fair dodging on all that which it still happens in places. But we, now when you come on the trains I know they haven't got machines here because it's that quiet. As you can see all built. there's a camera up there yeah. When you see these cameras, assume they work. They may not work, but just assume they do. Because I know some will do work, some don't. But it's just one of those. Be able to say, so I just assume they work. Couple of lights, as you can see now. Alarms. So you got one there, and one just above the door there. I'm guessing living quarters might have been upstairs for the and that and the co offices here as you can make out. But I'm not quite sure what times the trains are today because it would be 
Like I'll give you times earlier, just a rough idea when you're trying to be your operator. Because last time I was on this line, it was before lockdown. You had to come from York about quarter to one to get back here. Which you didn't leave you much time in York. If you want to have it, you can, this, if you are coming to don't use this line, uh, you've got Ackworth down that as well, Ackworth, Moorthorpe, a couple other stations down that way. I forgot what next station is, but you do have a church fencing, but you will power it past a, an old, you might see a local an, an engine shed on your right, but you've got that way. Ferry Bridge, I think it's called, Engine Shed. It's been taken over by somebody doing kind of the old. You, you were the modern today of the coal wagons, which is now the Drax has got one of them new wagons now for your, them like wooden pallets for the Drax. So they would be repairing wagons down the year. On your left hand side where you got beyond here, so you're going beyond I say about give or take five miles, five, six miles. On your left hand side there used to be the power station down there which is got blown knocked down. Well th there's a new power station down this one of them uh, eco friendly ones. Show you a bit on the front here. There used to be doors, as you can make out doors here. You can see where the old inch fitting were and all that. So it used to be when I say like last shame being through through lock station staff used to lock it up at night. So yeah, give. So if you want to use it, go to that website, there you are, for your train times and all that, there's a phone number. So, yeah, just be put where they're on in the main check, as you can see, that's the times there, yeah, yeah, but there, yeah, cause you got, there no other Newcastle for it, because that's gone the different line. So you get something like that sometimes, with the number that different to which line you... So I'll probably say, if you're going to use this like any... In the... North, like Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, Lancashire... Go to the, use one of these websites here yeah, for your local trains. Right. How about this? As you can see here... Well, this is sign Bay of Bagill. There. So there was a door. It's going to cap me out on that skip. There was a door there. This, and there's a white door as well. Along here. As you can see, it's boarded up upstairs. stick on YouTube. That'd be one of, you probably heard one of the locals who was here. Yeah. As you can make it, I'm not quite sure what brackets there were, so 
But then, on C, you would have been looking at some like phone lines and all that. The old phone lines. And probably the same there. Maybe some electric as well. I think it back out here is from that old building as well. Windows there. As you can make that I can't somebody busted there. Oh a gas gas pipe there. I'm not quite sure oh windows. It's old gas century easing. That type is old now, it's start disappearing. I think these aren't the cool vents there you might make out. There's a gate here, so it's like one of those. Sometimes it you can come in and out. I think this would have been like a because most stations were there like a, a local gar garden for the station master and all that. I think this would have been like a good yard as well around here because sometimes you get this side of state side station a local good yard of. But goods it can vary what time they come out around. Well, there's a thingy along here. As you can make out the little cool, uh, area. Oh, they look lots like they've moved up to here. So like they moved in like, oh, like last month. As you can make out, it's like it's When they usually close the buildings, these buildings like this, they usually get that, they might do it, I think this one might close in somewhere in the 1950s, 1980s. But some of, most of them, when they lock close the station buildings down, they leave the platforms up, as you can see here. But this is one of the only, like I said, the three sta stations, Ponty Baggy Hill. Pontefract Monk Hill and Tamshaft Shelf. So they're the three stations what's around here, but this is the only one with the uh, station building. Uh, but as you can make out, a bit of a solid site, and as, you, as you can see, there's a bit of work done to it. On the lockdown, it was like everybody else. You couldn't even, if you was at any, apart from the railway staff, you had to be like a, what they call key workers. So on this line, as you can see, I can imagine in 2020 it was absolutely, as you can see now, nah, dead, quiet. And there's, uh, I've heard, there was, there was odd drivers, 
and guards. There was odd ones who says it was that quiet. It was only, only them what was on the the staff what was on the train going up and down. But on this line you get like you might get three two to three trains to York, two th two to three trains to Sheffield. But we really like the same train going up. If you cut say if you got here for nine half nine and you got you got your train to start half nine and you're on it. You go to York, it would terminate at York. So you're looking about half ten it and it would but the same train you got would be coming back down on this line. But they always try and keep the same train on the on the these lines. So it's just like one of those. It's, they can keep the same trains on the line, so it just makes it easy. So let, I have got some other videos. I've done. I might have not talked to on them. Uh, it, so it's just one of those. It's just, so I might try and do more videos so you can keep up on put my line. And I try and do more stations best as I can. If it, if like if there's any old railway workers or any of that, please and it, please leave a comment box in the below. If you like it, push the like button, and get you and subscribe. And, and if you if you've got your friends and your friends and family who so don't know anything about trains, or like to know a bit about them, like know what class trains are or a locomotive. Just leave a comment and I'll gladly do a, a video and explain it in simple terms for you. I'm quite happy to do that. Just like leave a comment. If it's a station I can get you want me to go to, I'm quite happy to go to it and try and do some of it. And I try and get a bit of history on each each platform and at each station and all that. And I might do a bit of it on the surrounding area. If you want me to do some surrounding areas as well to the each platform state uh, of your local railway, I'm quite happy. even if it's meaning small businesses as well. I'm quite happy. Just.